Hello everyone, I'm Tristan44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode we did a bit of exploration and went southwards here into these goblin caves. Cleared out the upper level and now it's time to go into the lower level. Also we have help here from this Vanderin, an aspiring adventurer. From the surface even. He's helping us out. Vanderin looks down the dark tunnels of the mine. Curses, I forgot to bring a torch, and my eyes have not yet gained the uncanny ability to pierce the darkness that you Avenites possess. And yet I feel we are close to the goal of our quest. Complete victory against the Goblin Scourge. In this cave, anyway. True. Allow me to help. I mean, I can see pretty fine, but, eh, every little bit helps. You hear Vanderin gently humming to himself. You suspect that he is already composing a heroic song about your her heroic adventure. That's, uh, hmm. Oh! Oh! They're over there! I think... I have an idea. I think the entrance into there may be on the other side, because I saw this other entrance here. Let's take a look. No, no, that's completely different. There's goblins down here, too. I'll let the goblins come in. Oh, there's a lot of goblins. That is a lot of goblins! Area spells would be extremely useful here. Sadly, we don't have any. Why did you not go for the wounded one? That would have been a wise idea. Well, you have practice to do. You'll learn eventually. Oh! They're over there too? Fantastic! Well, you nearly killed it, so that's a nice job. To the east, you see an impressive bit of engineering, something that makes you realize that this was a more impressive mining works than you had thought. A pair of iron tracks have been with great difficulty laid across the chasm. A broad wooden platform is balanced on the tracks. There's a lever in the middle of the platform and chains underneath. Probably, when the lever was pulled, machinery would drag the platform across the chasm. Whatever people were pulling out of this mine, it must have been huge to require such effort. The tracks are very narrow and wobbly. Crossing them would be very dangerous. we will need to get across by riding the platform. I think we'll deal with that later. Nice job! You even got a kill to your name! I think that's the first time you've killed a goblin, Vanderin. Well, here anyway. Oh, poor leather helmets. Those are definitely useful. Alright. That's their kitchen. Oh, healing herbs. Okay. Yes, here's where we saw those goblins. There's a few more over here. Hey, a level up. There we go. Nice. Alright, a couple things to pick up. We don't need the hammer, I don't think. Ah, I can't get it open. Not enough tool use. Damn it. We'll get more soon. Alright, let me go take a look at the other side again. Let's see. Oh, more goblin. Quite a few goblin, in fact. Wolves, too. As kind of expected. Oh, they're surrounding us. Where the hell did Vanderin go? Oh, there's Vanderin. And there's the goblins. Drexa Eyebite. 
Well, that sounds lovely. Nice job! Andrin's not that bad a fighter. Oh dear, Drexel, I bite you. That's not good. Weaken her. Thank you. Alright, finish off that guy. There you go. Oh dear, summons. I hate mages. Thank you for the assistance. There we go. Finish off with that. There you go. Alright. That was a bit of a fight there. <laughs> Woven silver chain. Useful. Alright. Take the dagger. Take the crystals. Okay. Not too bad. Ooh, even some coins here. Let's see. More coins. A regular cloak. Energy potion. Bronze short sword. I'm taking everything I can. Ah, I don't have the key. Oh well. It looks like this is the other end of those tracks. So I guess we kind of need to take that other path. Alright. Let's head to it. And you know what? Yeah, tool used to eight. That'll allow us to open up that one door, I think. You. Uh, yeah, first aid, I think. That's usually helpful. And a bit of hardiness, just to be safe. And you. You've got nothing in hardiness and defense at all. Jesus. A bit of arcane lore. And hardiness and defense. I think that works. At least you have a little protection. Alright, down to this path. I think this is the only thing we can really do. Alright, let's do this. You examine the leather, the lever and the visible machinery. The goblins appear to have been intelligent enough to leave it alone. It might even still work. Pull the lever. You make sure you have a firm footing on the platform and give the lever a pull. The platform vibrates. You hear weights at the end of long chains begin to descend. You are slowly carried across the chasm. Vanderin leaps on the platform next to you. Oh, isn't this exciting? The device seems exquisitely dangerous. Alas, the, machine is, the machinery is very noisy. The creaks and scrapes carry effortlessly through the tunnels. Several hungry cave bats drawn by the sounds depend, descend upon you from the high, dark ceiling above. Well, uh, I kind of expected something like this would happen. It's not ex not surprising at all. At least they're dying easily enough. You look across the chasm to the cavern to the north. It is dark and misty. All you can make out are several huge looming stone shapes and two goblins watching you. You recognize one of them. It's Lord Trinket, the goblin chief. He fingers one of the pendants hanging from his neck and cackles. <laughs> yes, the foolish invader has entered the spider's web, only to feel the bear trap close around his feet. My armies, attack! And then a horde of goblins runs out of the shadows, attempting to leap across the chasm onto your platform. Many of them fall short, falling hilariously into the dark depths below. A surprising number of them, however, make the leap. Well, I suppose that's one thing that could happen. All right. Uh, why don't you shoot that goblin? Because I'm pretty sure he's going to, you know, hit us with other things. Okay, that works. Now, why don't you shoot at him a bit? Die! Aw, oh, he ran away. Once he realizes that you can hurt him from here, Trinket backs away a bit. Damn him! More goblins. The platform finally passes the goblin ambush. The sinister Lord Trinket shouts, You have escaped us for now! The next time we find you, you will be forced to escape us again! Now that the goblins are gone, more bats start to circle down, hoping to feed. Oh, bloody hell! I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Thank you. And 
more bats. Well, at least the bats die easily. At last, the platform reaches the far end of the chasm. With a soul-rending squeal, it grinds to a halt. Amazingly, you survived. The creatures were no great threat, but the machinery was terrifying. You try to pull the lever, only to find that it is stuck in this position. Yeah, and I just realized we forgot to open up a, a chest that we could now. Fuck. Oh, well, we can't go in there, so down this way. Rats! Alright, let them come to us. We may as well. And there you are. Really? All of you missed. Oh, the first aid helps. And another rat. Kill it. There we go. And we got a gold ring. Regular pants. An energy potion and a cloak. Hey, that one opened up. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Drop the light. Drop the lamp, though. The lantern. Whatever. All right. More goblins and a rat and a nephil. Herma. Interesting. All right. How about you weaken him? Didn't even need to. Wow, that was impressive. We got another healing potion, an energy potion, and a dagger. Oh, there's... Ooh, ruby. Also, you leveled up. Almost didn't notice. Kind of want you to save up a bit. A little. I mean, okay, quick action, and then next level you can level up your endurance. I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll probably work fine. Alright, got a few crystals here. Oh, wolves. Ooh, you're fast now. Nice. And we got another one of those. Fabulous. There goes that one, there goes that one. And... Nice job. All right, anything in these nests? Another ice bolt scroll. Another return life scroll, copper coins. Steel dagger. Nothing else here. Oh, that's something we can use. More food. And yes, there is a reason I'm taking all this food. I'm pretty sure we're going to find out about it eventually. All right. Now for this one. Pull the lever. You make sure you have a firm footing on the platform and give the lever a pull. The platform vibrates. You hear weights at the end of long chains begin to descend. You are slowly carried across the platform. The chasm. Vandrin leaps on the platform next to you. Another exciting ride? Oh, it seems too much to hope for, doesn't it? Alas, the moment you are away from solid ground, more goblins step out onto the ledge to the west, accompanied by Lord Trinket. As they prepare to fling javelins, their chieftain laughs. <laughs> Once again, you have stepped into my doom! The humans say how weak we goblins are, but who now is about to die? The answer is your goblins. They are the ones who are about to die. Your goblins are about to die. As you can see. There we go, and... There we go. Your dis your continued survival irritates Lord Trinket. He points at you and shouts, Die, my minions! Die for victory! More goblins run from the shadows and attempt to jump onto the platform. Some of them actually make it. Whatever else you can say about Lord Trinket, he is a truly inspiring leader to his kind. Once again, goblins jumping to their deaths. 
Once he realizes you can hurt him from here, Trinket backs away a bit. And again, we shall horribly murder all of these goblins. Lord Trinket shouts, Now, sample one of the gifts I have received! My patron has given me great power! He pulls a talisman away from his neck, breaking the chain. Then he flings it onto your platform. When it shatters, it lets out a cloud of mist, which soon coalesces into an unpleasant creature. <laughs> an oozing zombie! And he has a... He has a patron? That means... Someone made him do this. That just raises further questions. The platform finally passes the goblin ambush. The sinister Lord Trinket shouts, You have escaped us for now! The next time we find you, you will be forced to escape us again! Now that the goblins are gone, more bats start to circle down, hoping to feed. Again with the bats. Aren't we at the end of this? I mean, come on. Go away. At last, the platform reaches the far end of the chasm. With a soul-rending squeal, it grinds to a halt. With a long string of curses, Trinket and his minions flee into the shadows. <sighs> Another dagger. Alright, what next? Oh, more goblins, of course. Let them come to us, I say. Although you can actually kill one of them, I think. Oh, wait, they can come to us. They're up in the... They're up above. Alright, fireball that one. There we go. You round the corner and confront a horde of goblins, some of them holding cave wolves at the end of chains. They are standing in a crude throne room. There are two of the creatures in the back of the crowd. One of them is Lord Trinket. He must have run here after attacking you on the platform. The other is a female goblin, slightly shorter and similarly bedecked in gaudy jewelry. Trinket points at you. My servants, the invader has come at last! But listen to me and have faith! For this day we will prove to the humans that... He doesn't get any farther in his speech as the goblins scream and charge. Amidst the chaos, you think that you can see someone watching the fight in the shadows to the east. A humanoid form on the other side of a closed iron gate. Someone much larger than a goblin. A Smith Zarakai. That is very concerning. Okay, let's uh, kill all these creatures quickly now. Relatively easy to do. Oh dear. Po has poison and acid on. Okay, that's not good. You can do something there. And you... Thank you for that. Lord Trinket pulls one of his many pendants from around his neck and dashes it against the floor. Mist pours out of the shattered globe and forms into several vicious carnivorous worms. You wonder, not for the first time, who has been supplying the goblin chief with all of these heavy baubles. That's not very good. Lord Trinket's consort fail falls under your attacks. Esmeralda, my sweet! I will avenge you, and then I will honor your memory by finding a goblin less lovelier and less irritable than you. Rest in peace! And then, reinvigorated by the power of his moving speech, he attacks you with great speed and ferocity. Well, how about we weaken you a bit? And... How about you kill the worms so we don't get overwhelmed by them? You, I think, can remove the acid. Ow. I don't really want to get overwhelmed by those. Damn. No worries, we're killing the worms. Slowly but surely. Ow. Well, here's the last of the worms. Now we just need to finish off Lord Trinket. I think we could actually do with a healing. Thank you. Lord Trinket holds out his hands and mutters a word of command. One of his rings crumbles into powder and a wave of his sparkling energy travels outward. The spell blesses all of his all of your foes. All one of my foes, because that's all that's really left now. Lord Trinket falls to the ground, mortally wounded. He looks down at the necklaces and rings he wears, seemingly expecting them to revive him. Instead, they begin to crumble into dust, one after the other. He looks into the shadows, trying to find something with dimming eyes. But, Krez is, you said, I would be saved. I... And then he dies. You note that one item remains around Trinket's neck, a key on a leather thong. 
you take it. So much for the goblin infestation, but who is Kresis? Ooh, chainmail vest. Yes, please. You have an energy potion. Okay. Shield ring. That's useful. Okay. Yes, who? Now that Sh Lord Trinket has fallen, you hear dry, hissing laughter. You turn and see that it is coming from the dim, shadowy figure lurking behind the bars to the east. When you move closer, you see that he is a Slytherikai, wrapped in a heavy cloak, his face mostly concealed by his cowl. A vicious-looking two-tined spear is strapped across his back. Though he doesn't seem to be about to attack, you get a feeling of great menace. He watches you closely, evaluating you. Who are you? The creature lets out a long, low hiss. Then he speaks. His voice is quiet, confident, and chilling. Should I kill? Should I spare? Is this a trap to catch me? To get me to emerge? I want to know who you are. Yes. You will know. You will all know. We infiltrate. We invade. We strangle you. I want to kill you. Fast. Easy. Good practice. But no. Expo exposure not worth killing you. You are meaningless. What is your name? I am the Nightmare. My name is screamed upon awakening or upon dying. I walk in your lands freely. I have no fear of you. We come. You will all die. You are brave. Good luck. One day I hope you are worth killing. As you start to respond, the creature turns his back on you and walks off into the darkness. Get back here! Now that Trinket has fallen, Vandarin looks extremely pleased with himself. Victory is ours! We have slain the foe and completed our quest. Now back to town to quaff flasks of ale and tell tales of conquest. Also to bandage our wounds. I think I've suffered a bit of a bruising. I thank you for your aid in this battle, and I hope that we might fight together again one day. Now excuse me, I must be off. With a final bow, he slips into the shadows. No idea who that slith is. Perhaps it was whoever we heard the word of. Chris is, I believe. Strange and worrying. Another silver necklace. Iron bracers. Those are useful. Leather bracers. Sure. Those are gauntlets, not gloves. Gloves we can't even sell. Okay. Anything else over here? Gold ring, silver necklace. You search through one of Trinket's boxes looking for treasure. You find only junk. Nod bones, broken bottles, moldy items of no interest. At the bottom of the box, however, you find something interesting. A leather scroll covered with writing. It looks like Slith script, but you can't understand it. We have a Slith in the party! It might be interesting. You keep it. Perhaps someone can translate it for you. And we got silver coins, another energy potion, and fine leather. Excellent. Alright. And not going to be anything up there. Well, we could open that, but I'm not going to bother going through that way now. You pull the lever and the platform carries you across to the other side. There are no guards here and the machinery powering this platform seems much better maintained than the others. Yay! Now what's in here? More goblins, I imagine? Oh. At last you reach the center of the mines. Here you find a spectacular treasure, far more powerful and valuable than anything you are likely to find in your travels. There are five natural crystal spires glowing dimly with natural magic. All nearly flawless, all waiting for someone to extract them and take them to the tower colony. Sadly, as they weigh tons, you won't be able to claim them. At least you prevented the goblins from destroying them. Those creatures would probably smash them into small glittering chunks just to have something pretty to carry around. Oh, there's the goblins. I had a feeling there were going to be more around here. May might be glad to see that I'm not wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Should I be? Eh. I'll say I am. Ooh, tough warrior. Okay. 
kill the rat, weaken the warrior. There we go. Yeah, this guy's gonna die easily. He's not got much. There we go. Beautiful. And what have we got here? Iron breastplate. Yay! Steel ward scroll. Interesting. Can we actually sell it? We can. Huh. Anything in here? We got coins and javelins, which we don't need. Looks like there's not really anything else of use out here. The only other thing I want to do was that chest over there we couldn't open before, but now we can. So, let's go open it. At least I'm pretty sure we can now. Yep, we can, and we got a Persian crystal. Very nice. Alright, now back to town to sell all this loot. And report in on our success. Still a couple quests out here that we didn't do, but still, nice what we did. All right. Let's see. We got the goblin trophies, Sergeant Kanan, and Hunt Down Trinket, which we will also report in on. But first, you. We have things to sell. A lot. We're going to have a lot of coin after this, I think. Excuse me. Sorry about that. 1,403. For a start, that's pretty good. The Nephil takes and counts for gruesome trophies. Brrr, a good harvest. Better than expected from you. Not by much. You receive a pouch of silver coins. Yay! Alright, let us report in. Uh, Lieutenant Caitlin, the goblin trinket has been slain. You report the details of your victory to Caitlin. She is both pleased and surprised. Well, I am annoyed at Sergeant Nickel. He has been hiding a treasure in the lower level. I can make use of you, but sadly it is not to be. I have been worried that I was about to lose some of my experienced soldiers trained in our ways, but I don't have to. I don't understand. Ah, <sighs> the castle. They need someone to run errands. They demanded some of my soldiers, as if I have any to spare. She has her secretary write out some orders and give them to her. She gives them to you with a pouch. The pouch? The pouch contains gold. The orders send you to Commander Maryhew in the castle. It's quite an honor for you. It's a castle, after all. And that's all. Thank you for your service here. She starts to turn back to the audience hall. But that's it? How do I find Commander Maryhew? You go to the castle. Enormous building just to the north, surrounded by a moat. You can't miss it. The entrance is at the north end. I'm sure someone there can tell you where to find Maryhew. Angry muttering from the mob draws Caitlin's attention. And now I need to get back to work. Enjoy your life of adventure. Goodbye. She turns and starts to listen to an application for ten pounds of dried lizard meat. And you leveled up. Kind of want to save up a bit. Though, since you're going to be using a bow, I suppose a little training in it will work. Yeah, sure. We'll level up your endurance later, just so you have five. I want everyone to have five endurance. That would be ideal. Alright, before we leave, we should let him know. Sergeant Nickel. You return to Sergeant Nickel, who is pacing nervously in the basement. After spending a year trying to build himself a refuge from the chaos outside, the recent intrusion into the cellar has left him unnerved. I am being transferred to the castle. The lieutenant was courteous enough to let me know. I know I rode you pretty hard, but it was good having you down here. Now I have to replace you. It won't be hard, and I hope the, no ki the new kids know enough to keep their heads down and stay safe. Go. You're bigger than this cellar now. He waves you away. Well, Nicole, I know you were trying to keep us safe, but thank you for what you have done. You were hard, but you cared. Alright, next episode we'll need to find our way north of the castle, which is right there. We'll prob I think what we'll do is we'll take a look here, the castle keep, maybe look around here a bit. No, maybe we should just head... Maybe we'll head straight to the ca No, no, I want to take a look southwest here because that's probably where that uh, lizard that we're supposed to find is located. Then we'll make a beeline to the castle or such and then start our explorations around this place and see what we can find and do. That'll be in the next episode, though. So, until then, I'm Chester44... 
that is uh, Mortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 5 Let's Avernum 6 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.